Welcome class of 2025. I'm Mr. Girl, one of the counselors, and what I want to introduce you is to the counseling staff. So we have Mrs. Devine, who's got students A through F, Mrs. Primo, who's got G through LE, Mrs. Lemke, who's got LI through RI, and then myself that has RO through Z. Um, you'll notice that there's some letters on there. Mrs. Uh, Devine is out on maternity leave for term one. So anybody whose last name is C and F, Mrs. Primo will be covering. D and E will be Mrs. Lemke. And then A and B will be myself. You'll notice a link at the bottom, and it's also on our website to our Calendly. And that allows you to set up an appointment with us. Other members of the student services team are school psychologist, Mrs. Katricias, Mrs. Lahodek, our school social worker, and Mrs. Farley, our director of college, career, and life readiness. Probably one of our most important members is Ms. Furchell. She is the voice and face of student services when you come in. If by chance you're unable to access Calendly to set up appointments, you can meet with her and she'll set one up for you too. It's also important to stay informed. If you go to our website, there's lots of great features and information. And you can see in the bottom right-hand corner over there are the different Calendly links that you can use to access the counselors. We're gonna take a moment and talk about graduation requirements. So basically three things you need to be able to graduate. You need at least a total of 24 credits. You need the classes that are listed here, and then you'll need to complete the Wisconsin State Civics exam. You'll notice that our graduation requirements may differ from college requirements. Our graduation requirements are the basic requirements for all two and four year colleges. And at the bottom, you'll note too that world language is not a graduation requirement, but there are many colleges that either recommend or require at least two years. This is the Wisconsin State Civics exam. You can find it in Canvas. You can take it any year. You need a score of 65 to pass. And the interesting thing about this test is you can take it as many times as you need to be able to pass it. So one of the tools in Infinite Campus is a graduation check. If you click on documents and then click on academic plan progress report, you get a screen that looks like this. You can leave it at summary and then click at the bottom generate report. And then you'll have a screen that looks like this. You'll notice that these are all the graduation requirements and anything in green means that is met. Anything in red means that's a graduation requirement you are still working on to complete. It's a wonderful tool just to see where you're at. So one of the things you're looking to build is a transcript. A transcript is your academic profile. You'll notice in the top left-hand corner is your overall GPA. That's all the grades and courses in the middle averaged up. You'll notice on the top right corner is the credits that you've earned. This is just your classes and credits. You'll notice too that there's no attendance, no behavior, no academics or activities on this. Schedule changes. There are a couple things to keep in mind. One, if you're dropping down from an honors course, you have up to five days. And that depends on whether you have a seat there's a seat available in the class you want to drop down to. You can drop a class for a study hall for up to three weeks or six weeks if you have an A and B day class. After the three weeks, it will be an automatic F. And adding a class, you're not able to add a class once a term starts. Any type of scheduling change does require you completing the schedule change form, and you can find that in student services. In the spring, sophomores will take two different tests, a pre-ACT secure and a Wisconsin forward exam. Both tests you don't have to register for, both tests are free. The pre-ACT secure tests in the same things as the ACT, so it's a free practice. 
And the Wisconsin Ford is a test that tests in social studies. I will turn it over now to Mrs. Lemke. Hello, everybody. Thanks, Mr. Grove, for going over those nuts and bolts and the graduation specific requirements that all of our sophomores are going to need to take care of. Um, as we move now into the rest of our presentation, we really want to highlight for you that there may be some things that you have to do that are the same as your, your classmates and peers. So for instance, everybody's got to take some form of English 10 this year, whether it be regular or honors, but you have a lot of choice and opportunity coming up for you um, to help yourselves decide what is that best pathway to success. Um, really opening up in your junior and senior year is almost every opportunity that Elmbrook Schools has to give you. Um, so want to highlight for you those academic and career planning questions. Who am I? Where am I going? How do I get there? And what should I be doing right now to get to that end goal that I have in mind? Um, and, you know, so particularly, we know that there are different courses and experiences that you can have. Certainly, there are things you must take for graduation, but there's a lot of classes that you do not need to take, but might be right for you. Um, there are also within our district career-based learning experiences, and that would be anything from an in um, uh, a mentorship or an informal conversation with someone doing something you might be interested in, all the way up to the formality of a um, job-based apprenticeship or an experience with launch where you're working with uh, job coaches. There are so many opportunities for you that really in your sophomore year, what we're looking for you to focus on is starting to try out some of these experiences. Um, so as this, this slide deck and as our conversation with you progresses today, um, we're gonna be highlighting some of those opportunities, not to overwhelm you, but to remind you of what's out there and hopefully spur you to ask some more questions and do some more research. One of those items that I wanna highlight for you is Zello. And this is particularly aimed at those of you who might be a little bit stuck right now or not sure um, what you're exploring for that future. So um, we're gonna click into um, particularly one career to model for you a way that you can use this tool. So if you click on that magnifying glass in the upper right-hand corner, and remember, I should highlight for you too, um, Zello, you can uh, get to through your My Elmbrook tab. There is no username or password for Zello. Students actually have to go in using their My Elmbrook and then click on Zello once they're in there. Um, so again, just highlighting, you would wanna click on that magnifying glass. And for today's purposes, we're gonna use nurse as our search criteria. Once you click anything or type anything in, you're going to have a variety of options, but today we want to focus on nurse as a career. And so any career page is going to be organized like this. Um, you're going to have a job description as well as similar careers. I always like to highlight similar careers because you may not be really sure or you may think there's some aspects of a career that you're interested in, um, but maybe others aren't a good fit. You're going to learn about demand you're gonna look, be able to see if it's a growing career right now or not. Um, I always like the core tasks and workplace as it gives you a much better understanding of what the day-to-day -day of work in that profession could be like for you. It's really hard to imagine right now, so it's good to have that resource. Um, and then as you scroll down the page, you also get other important information like the earnings. Um, you can specialize by state and you can see what the earnings look like throughout the trajectory of that um, career path, um, as well as what are some sample job titles and how might you grow in experience um, as you project through that career. Uh, particularly important for you guys right now as 10th graders, as you're looking ahead, is to understand what education and training might be required for you after high school in order to get into that career. Almost every career is going to require some type of formal training, whether that be a four-year bachelor's degree or more, or whether it be something like apprenticeship or a two-year technical degree. If we're looking at nursing, in fact, you'll see both. You'll see um, you know, that we have a variety of different possible areas to focus on. Let's start with registered nursing and registered nurse today. And now we're actually looking at this as a major. So we can get a sense of what are the job titles I could have after I focused on this, as well as what kinds of courses am I going to have to take in that um, official training after I exit high school. 
And then even better, um, as you take a look, you can also see the schools that actually offer that major. Um, and this is again, where you can kind of decide on your pathway. If you want a four-year degree, if you want a graduate degree, you wanna expand in that um, career even beyond that first four years, or if there's an associates or a certificate program available that would also let you get to where you're going. So again, just really wanted to highlight this tool because it's a great jumping off point if you need to gather additional information and start to help yourself decide on the experiences you want to highlight and have during your junior and your senior year or even your sophomore year yet this, um, you know, this upcoming year. Because the biggest thing that you can do for yourself is actually try things, get experience so you can decide for yourself truly whether it's something that you're interested in. Um, and then parents as well, if you are interested in having your own access, we would just need to have you fill out a form um, and those will get manually added as we're able to get through them. Um, but honestly, I really think that a lot of families find the greatest success in just sitting down with their student, having the student log into their student portal of Zello, which is again through my Elmbrook. Um, because this gives the greatest opportunity have to have those really important academic and career planning conversations with the people that are most important to you, your family together. Um, and we as counselors then are always available um, as you know, additional avenues of information after or when questions arise. So I will turn it over to Mrs. Primo to talk about some of those expansions of opportunities once you've started to zoom in on some of your own personal preferences. Thanks, Ms. Lemke. So um, as of right now, your academic planner is open. So feel free as we're talking about opportunities, go ahead into your academic planner and add any courses that you may have interest in for next year. Um, our academic planning site, similar to what we had last year, will be up and running uh, fairly soon. You can find all of the information about launch, or any um, early college credit opportunities. Everything is really housed on our academic planning site. So feel free to take a peek there once that is out and ready. One opportunity that we felt would be important to speak about would be launch. Uh, launch is a program that is one year. Um, it's one block all year long and juniors and seniors can partake in it. Um, in launch, we have various different strands that students can partake in. So if you open up this document, and again, all of this information is housed on our academic planning site, or if you can access it on our student services website as well. Um, this is really gonna go into detail of all of the different types of strands we have in launch. So if you know a little bit more specifically what you wanna study like business or healthcare um, or data science, we have all sorts of different types of strands that you could take a peek into. Every launch strand has their own mentorship. Launch is really geared towards students who uh, like to work and collaborate with other students. Um, they want that uh, collaborative type of project-based learning. Um, so if you have any questions about launch, feel free to reach out to your school counselor and we can um, answer any additional questions you have about our launch program. And again, that is something that you're going to hear more about as we start to approach the um, time for scheduling for your junior year. All right, so some of you may have um, more questions as to what do I want to do? I'm not quite sure what I wanna study for a career. I'm not sure what my life will look like after high school. Mr. Mancheski is a career coach that we have come from WCTC. He's here every other Wednesday. Um, his calendar is linked on, this, linked on this presentation or you can access his calendar by emailing your school counselor and we'll share his link. He has 45 minute um, appointments every other Wednesday where you can sit down and he'll really talk to you and help you kind of develop a plan for after high school. Uh, I really suggest that you take advantage of connecting with him. So one thing that our student services team is proud of is our post-secondary information night. Uh, we are back in person this school year. We are hosting here at Brookfield Central. So as you can see, we have all sorts of wonderful sessions really geared towards 
all post-secondary options, whether that be the military, uh, students who are interested in apprenticeships, all of the Wisconsin universities will be represented, private nonprofit, uh, private nonprofit colleges, um, anyone who's interested in um, or has a goal to be an NCAA college athlete, there's a session for you to get some more information. There are certain requirements that you have to meet, so it would be great for you to attend that session. Um, as a sophomore, though, let's focus on that. UW-Madison, Marquette will be here attending this Wisconsin universities. College Fit is another session to think about attending. Really, how to find the right college that fits you as an individual will be discussed. Um, there will also be how to navigate college fairs and visits. Um, if you want to attend a session about college applications, that would be okay. Um, as a sophomore, really, as consumer of high school education would be a fantastic session. And navigating your future career or the technical college session as well. So this night is September 26th. Uh, it started, it's starting off at six o'clock and sessions are a half hour long. And again, this is here at Brookfield Central. Uh, September 26th is a non-school day. So uh, Mr. Gritzmacher will be sending out more information and sending this presentation out to you. So you can see this um, and navigate uh, exactly where each session will be held. All right, and then we also have colleges who come in person and visit with our students. Some of these sessions are held virtually. Um, if students have any questions or if they would like to sign up for our college reps um, and learn about the dates and times, they can visit with Ms. Ferschel or they can just see the calendar, click on the link on our student services website and take a peek at what colleges are coming. Um, we have quite a few colleges who come actually in person, want to meet with our students. That's something that we encourage our, um, all students to take advantage of. All right, just a couple dates of um, things that we wanted to put on your calendar. So September 23rd is when we will be posting three week grades. Those are available on Infinite Campus. Again, September 26th is our post-secondary information night. October 5th is parent-teacher conferences. That's again held virtually through Meet the Teacher. October 14th is when six-week grades are available. And then the term ends. Grades will get posted on the transcript on November 3rd. Um, we also will be sharing out information, anyone who is in an AP class. That is when you are signing up for your AP exam. If you're in a first term AP class, that's when your payment is also due. So more information to come on that. Thanks for listening to our video. If you have any questions, feel free to follow up with your school counselor. Again, we appreciate your time and we um, are looking forward to working with you this school year. Thanks and take care.